Good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday to you. The week is almost over. It has been a very fast week. When I realized it was Thursday, I thought, seriously, it, it can't be that quick, right? <laughs> but it is. It is Thursday already. And I wanted to let you know, I will not be live next week. I am going to be traveling uh, to Texas for a conference. So I will be um, in trainings all day on Tuesday, well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday morning, we are heading back. So I'll be flying back on Thursday. So I will not be live for the next, I'll, I'll, all of next week. If I can jump on real quick, I will. But for the most part, I will not be able to be live. And I apologize for that. What I might do is go ahead and do the blessed method for the scriptures for those, those days and have them ready for you and post them. But I just won't be live. How does that sound? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. So today is Thursday, June 13th. And our B in the, in the blessed method, the Bible verse is Romans 15, five through six. And it says, may the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. So that with one mind and one voice, you may glorify God and the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The elf in the blessed method is listening for God's voice and praying. So please pray with me. Heavenly Father, as we come to you this month, we are talking about community of believers. And we are seeking your guidance and your grace and your um, on how we should have our relationships with one another look, what we, they should look like. Help us to have the same attitude of love and compassion and unity that Jesus demonstrated in his life on earth. And may our unity and our love for one another be a testimony to the world of your goodness and your glory. In Jesus name. Amen. All right. The E in the blessed method is exploring the history and the meaning. So in this passage, Paul is writing to the church in Rome and it's made up of both Jews and Gentile believers. And he's encouraging them to live in harmony and unity with one another because despite their differences in their backgrounds and the cultures, Paul is telling them that true unity comes from God. That's who gives believers the endurance and the encouragement they need to love and support one another. So he's urging those Roman Christians to follow the example of Christ, who showed love and compassion to all people and to come together as one community to glorify God. So the S in this is studying the key words and phrases. So the, the couple of the key phrases I have are same attitude of mind, and that's talking about the same perspective, the same mindset, the same approach to loving and serving another, modeling after Christ. One mind and one voice is talking about being united with that same purpose and expression as a community of believers. And glorifying God the Father is talking about bringing honor and praise um, to God through that unity and love. So to summarize, you know, there's just something truly beautiful and powerful about being part of a community of believers. And when we come together as sisters in Christ, united in our love of God and for one another, we have the opportunity to experience the kind of unity and support that can transform our lives and the world around us. Paul is giving us a glimpse in this scripture of what kind of uh, what this kind of you community can look like. He prays that God would give the believers in Rome that same attitude of mind that's toward each other that Christ had. It was an attitude of love and compassion and humility. So when we approach our relationships with one another with that same mindset, it creates a bond that goes beyond our differences and draws us closer together. But Paul doesn't stop there. He also reminds reminds us that our unity as believers has a bigger purpose, and that's to glorify God with one mind and one voice. And when we come together as a community, united in our worship and our praise, it sends a powerful message to the world around us. It shows that there is something different and special about the love and the grace of God. And it invites other people to experience that same love and grace for themselves. 
Of course, living in unity and harmony with one another isn't always easy. We all have our own struggles, our own opinions, our own personalities, and there will be times when we disagree or get on each other's nerves, right? But that's where the endurance and the encouragement that God provides comes in. That's when we lean on him for strength and support. And he gives us the grace we need to love and to serve each other, even in the middle of challenges. So let's embrace this gift of community that God has given us. Let's pray for one another, support each other, and seek to have that same attitude of love and compassion that Christ demonstrated. And let's come together as one voice to glorify our amazing God, because he's the one that gives us the endurance and the encouragement that we need to live out our faith together. Amen? Amen. All right, the three Bible cross-references we have are Philippians 2, 2, Ephesians 4, 2, and 3, and Colossians 3, 14. So I want you to do me a favor. In the comments below, I want you to tell me how you experience um, the, the power and the beauty of Christian community in your own life. You know, are you are you with a, a church group? Are you with a Bible study group? Are you in my Facebook group where you have made friends and you encourage each other? Maybe in a different Facebook group. Let me know in the comments how you feel the power of community. I, I feel it in many ways. In my church, I really feel that sense of community. They include me in things. I have some very close friends in our church. Um, and I feel it in my Facebook group because you ladies and some men <laughs> are amazing with reaching out um, and, and sharing your love with everyone there. So let me know in the comments. I would love to hear. And if you are joining us and you're watching this on replay, type in replay so that we know and make sure you like the video. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I pray you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.